What's up guys, Tyler here, welcome back to my Daily Balloons video. So a lot of you have been probably severely disappointed to see that regrow farming, regen farming is allegedly disabled in BT6 and Ninja Kiwi has found all the loopholes, they patched them and that regen farming is not possible. Well I am pleased to bring to you guys today the only possible way to make regen farming work and let me tell you it actually works. It is classic regen farming and it is crazy. So I'm going to show it off in sandbox here then we're going to do it in an actual game so let's get right into it. So for starters obviously need the Druid boys, you're gonna need a couple of them here. I think I'll do it on last. I'm kind of setting these up in a way that they blow the balloons black back while still giving them time to, and give them time to like regen, kind of create like a massive farm. I mean, that's the whole point, right? If you don't know what regen farming is, basically it's creating lots and lots of balloons out of a few amount of regrow balloons. Like you take a couple of regrow balloons and you make them into like a hundred million and then you pop them all and you get money. But in BTD6, Ninja Kiwi made it so you can't get money from regrow balloons. There is a very special way and I'll show you in a second. First, we're, next we're just going to get our defense that pops through and everything. That uh, commerce was unnecessary. We just need the MIB. Then we'll get something like a few bomb towers under here. We'll get like a little cluster of clusters on close right here. Uh, this guy right here. And then a missile launcher. And we'll just get like another one. Two of them should be good for now. It's not something super heavy. There we go. All right, so now the big part of that. This is the reason why it still works. So we're gonna take the alchemist here of all things. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Get alchemist, get it like maybe here-ish, I suppose. Doesn't have to be in the village range, doesn't really matter. Get to lead to gold. You see where this is going? Then we're gonna send us some fortified lead balloons. Right, lead balloons work too, but I think I'd rather send fortified leads. So I'm gonna send like 10. I had very bad spacing. I cut it on the automatic spacing, but I forgot about that. And with that, you just let it fly. So at first, like, let's balloons are just gonna be popped by our druid boys, and they're just gonna keep blowing them back. That, oh, that range hits, wow. Oh, that's really bad actually for me. I'm gonna sell that. That's not important though. Uh, we, can, we can just re replace that. Eventually though, some of the leads will make it to our alchemists, lead to gold, and they will become uh, popped. And whenever the uh, alchemist pops a lead to gold, it, uh, <laughs> it gives us 50 bucks. And you can repeat this over and over and over again and just have a give uh, infinite money. Look at that, we already got a decent lead regen farm. And look at the alchemist go, giving us that 50 bucks. Yo, let's get another alchemist maybe. If we think our bombs are starting to struggle, you just wanna get more alchemists. So we'll get like a second alchemist. Also get that to lead to gold. Maybe get one down here, cause some are making it kinda far. Again, just lead to gold, larger potions as well. Cause sometimes the bombs might be overwhelmed. You don't want that. You really don't want that. Cause yeah, we might leak a bit and that might hurt a bit. But look at this money we're gaining. We are gaining 50 bucks every time. Gotta keep uh, building up this alchemist. There's a hell of a region farm at this start. So I just prefer to have the, all, as many alchemists as possible. Pop all this like crazy. Also gonna have a druid here on last. Blowing back some, um, Let's just to further the region farm and basically we're just going to create more and more and more of a region farm and just try not to let it get out of control though. We'll get maybe another blowback guy here right there. All right, perfect. Then we'll get more of these just still on strong. So aim at mainly the leads, do the most amount of damage that way. Get another one here on strong to lead to gold, of course, and just keep profiting off these druids. So we just do this over and over and over and over again until we turn a profit. And basically, it's uh, pretty much just that. If you're really concerned about your defense getting, uh, getting through the end, you can get like a fourth recursive cluster. Any more than four recursive clusters is absolute overkill though, I will say. Because you also get a lot of pop and power from the alchemists themselves. The alchemist actually does quite a bit of damage and if you do it right, you can actually prevent the balloons from even making it to the recursive cluster bomb. So those are really just there as a safety precaution. I'm gonna get another tornado -y druid though, just to even further this region farm so we can watch it get out of control and maybe continue to get some more alchemists. There we go. One more there. All right, so we'll just kind of keep going on this. Get maybe another druid here. Kind of like this, kind of just shoot down this line. Get the druidic reach or whatever and get that going and just let this continue on and on. If, if we let this go on for like an hour or so, we would probably get like, you know, millions of dollars and all that. So even though it looks like, you know, it's only 50 bucks at a time, it does add up and you can get more and more shit. 
and <laughs> it's pretty fun. So let's do this in the actual game right now, because you're like, let's well, just sandbox mode. You can send fortified region leads whatever the hell you want to. There's no region leads in normal battles, and this is true. In normal battles rounds, there are no region leads. However, there is this thing called alternate round balloons rounds. Yes, there is alternate balloons rounds, and basically we're gonna do it. And we're going to try to use as little powers as possible. I mean, we still have our monkey knowledge. I caved and bought the monkey knowledge not too long ago because I'm like, screw it. Let's see what it does. So that's a bit unfortunate, but that, but it's whatever, really. So that means our boat is half off and we get a free dot monkey and 200 extra starting cash. Cash, I think I'm like level 60. But I mean, I imagine if you have like monkey powers or like, you know, there, there's like a lot of different ways you can give yourself the, self the money and make this work. Again, it's really just trying to get regen farm to work. Uh, most people don't exactly regen farm for money because you, to, to get a regen farm set up, you actually need a lot of money in the first place. So I think people like to do it for the EXP and we're actually going to see if we can get the EXP off of it. Uh, allegedly, you can't, but maybe it's different now that we have an actual working regen farm and plus I wanted to show the proof of concept in, concept in an actual game. I think that'll just be much appreciated. So we're going to start off with a hot shot grape shot boat that takes camo because alternate blooms rounds is crazy. Camels come as early as like round five or something like that. Leads come as early as round 10. So we just need that defense. And after that, we should be good to go. Like once we get hot shot, we can just start farming like crazy, which is really nice. Hmm, wonder when the first lead will appear. Hmm. So yeah, we got, we got our defense ready. We are set and then we're gonna just start farming. Our farms are also 2% off, a wh whole whopping 2%, might be a bit more. They're originally 1350, now they're 1325, maybe that's just rounding, I don't think it's exactly 2%. Maybe it is, maybe it's really close actually, hold on. I think 2% uh, off would be a little bit cheaper than what we have actually, I think. I'm trying to do math, I guess you guys really don't care, so we're gonna move on and <laughs> basically just gotta afford some farms. So. I've been reading up on how to do farms, and basically it's banks, 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 and pr pretty much just banks. We have until round 48 to get up as much money as possible, because round 40 are when fortified regrow leads come in this alternate balloons round game mode. So we're saving up for that. So that means we're going to try to get a couple banks, and we're also going to try to get some other 1-0 farms, because in addition to bank, the next best thing, why did it take me by that is the one zero farm as far as cost efficiency goes i'm talking about money earned versus money put in that's cost efficiency like we want money of course the, the higher tier of the farm the more money you get but sometimes you have to put money in at a worse rate than you would have to in these one zero farms or sorry one oh oh i keep forgetting there's three freaking upgrade paths it's actually kind of annoying not gonna lie and we're gonna keep working on that then we're gonna rush our bank as soon as we can because the bank is disgustingly efficient ten thousand dollars every 13 rounds is uncompared by any farm or alternative income generator so hopefully they'll provide us enough money to actually be able to afford our regen farm defense on the upcoming rounds it's gonna be tough i believe in us though i should have gotten this farm though i missed on some money because i was slow to place it on my farm and i'm still slow to place it down could have maybe one more banana by now but you know i guess i'm over it it's really not that big a deal so we'll keep farming these rounds are still gonna be very difficult though so even though i have just like one boat and a dart monkey these guys will start struggling pretty soon i guess for now i'm actually like really safe like i'm safe until like maybe 32 ish give or take hold on we're gonna get another monkey farmer look at all these monkey farmers i have i'm like i'm not gonna do anything with my monkey mice so i might as well just get a crap ton of monkey farmers it's, it, it works well for me the only other thing i could use on this continues which i admit i could use a lot of but I, I still have some money left over just in case i need to hit that continue or i got the home screen little little exploit as a cop out so it's like sometimes i don't even need continues this is some regen magic balloons unfortunately those don't get give too much money now something else i have found in regen farming is that the alchemist the uh, the rubber to gold doesn't give any extra money for popping this stuff it's only the static 50 dollars bonus for popping leads that's it just that so if that's a disappointment to you guys I would be surprised because it should be expected that you don't get money from popping re re regen balloons anyways so you wouldn't get double double of nothing is still nothing if you guys know what two times zero is i know very difficult math i too failed fourth grade so we're gonna actually move on we're gonna sell this like it, yeah we're gonna sell this now get a bank and we're gonna get a greater production banks do best on greater production uh because that fills up their 
I don't know, what, what to call it, their, their vaults faster, and then if their vault is filled up faster, you get interest faster. So we're gonna be able to collect this in like 13 rounds, round 42 is one we'll be able to collect from that bank. So I actually may not go for another bank, unless we can get it before round 35. Because like I said, uh, 13 rounds to pay off a bank. We'll try for it. Also, Camel Ledge coming in. Good thing we got the boat. I think there was a Camel Ledge earlier, but I just didn't really draw attention to it. But yeah, we're doing great right now. I think it's just round 32 that scares me, unless it is round. I know there's ceramics that come time sometime soon. Soon, that's what I'm talking about. Spooky, scary ceramic balloons. I'm, I'm just going to want to get like a sniper on strong just to help out with that. Hopefully, you don't start a too big of a region farm here. We're not supposed to start region farming until round 48. And it looks a little bad right now, but I assure you it's not. This map is so long that you can just get away with everything. I guess it's around where the leads come. I guess I'll get my sniper. Maybe I'll just try getting away with a 0, zero sniper. See how that is for me? I get it. Strong. Maybe a full metal jack would be smarter, though. All right, looks like we'll barely be able to hold it off. That's scary. Also going to get our increased production ASAP. There we go. Awesome. Yeah, it looks like a 0, zero sniper is all we need. I think I want a 1-0 oh sniper eventually. 1-0-0. Oh oh. God. Guys, I'm, I'm going to keep messing this up. There is no end of this tunnel. Maybe just a base sniper, I could call it. Maybe I just won't even give them numbers. Because numbers are confusing, I guess. Jesus. All right, so we're going to keep saving up more 104 or first tier farms. First tier. These are first tier, just normal farms. Nothing weird about them. And there's no regions that come this round, so I shouldn't be scared. We have enough pop power to pop, like, basically a good amount of just normal ass balloons. Do ceramics come this round? I don't know, but I think they come again soon. I'm, yeah, well, they do come again. Oh my god, what, what the reeds? Called it. Bit of a regen farm here. We may leak some. Still got that sniper and strong. They get to the region balloons. That's actually kind of disappointing. Maybe I'll get myself up a second boat then so I don't leak much more. I'm going to use my lives as a resource, though. I'm okay with dropping out of, what, 43? Probably 40 at the end of all this. That's not that bad. 39. It looks like 40. Oh, well. And it's going to be even less now because those yellows. Oh, jeez. All right, so even more scary stuff. We'll get another, like, crow's nest just to help out. It's just camera regrow yellows. I mean, just the extra boat, I think, will help out. Because, yeah, we're doing pretty good at thinning out the crowds right now. And I will not be able to get a second bank, unfortunately. So what I'm going to do instead is just spam the 1-0 farm. That's my plan. 1-0 farm spam until about round 42. Because if you have a farm for six rounds only then does selling it return a profit overall on the whole thing if you buy a farm sell it back in like five rounds you lose money overall so it's just not worth it to do it that way and we're gonna just get them right about here come on okay do we have to get them like way over here i guess we do another monkey farmer i have so many of them so i might as well just do it right now please don't tell me this range is gonna be blocked by the log i'm gonna be thoroughly disappointed if that's the case all right, so now that we got this, we're also going to prep for the Moab Pop Power. Round 40 is actually pretty scary in this game mode. There's a fortified Moab that comes, so we are going to do the best possible thing against it, which is Cry. Wait, no, this is the second best possible thing. First best possible thing is probably, I don't know, maybe a Grape Shot, I guess? I don't need Double Hop Shot. Uh, that's a tough one. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what to make of that. Maybe more molar than some other shenanigans. Like a double more and more might not be too bad, assuming we can afford it in time. How's our bank looking? It's getting there. It's really getting there. We'll get this guy right about. We'll just get it like here. Rush more and more. Gonna get multiple of them. Is that a regen ceramic? That's fine. No big worry. We can defend fine. I'm still worried about that more though. How's this looking? It's gonna hit 10k really soon. If only can hit 10k before round 40 though. Maybe I could prematurely grab from it. It's just I would lose out on a lot of money that way in the long run. So I think I'm going to take the risky route instead. Just spam more and more. Hope that's enough. I think we'll get there. A lot of money coming this round too. We got two more molars. That's a really good start. Hopefully. Maybe we can afford a grape frag bomb. We can't. How's this looking? 9,000. Uh, I may need to restart this round. I'm not entirely sure how good my defense is right now. I can always just get like a... Ah, oh boy. That's so tough. I'm going to just let it slide. I don't want to collect from my bank if I don't have to, but if I do have to, I'm going to just restart. I think we'll be all right. It's close. It's really close, guys. Oh, my God. Are we okay? This is... Oh, boy. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I'm going to just continue. I don't really care. I'm like... I could collect from it, but I'm just not sure. Uh, let's just be smarter this time. We'll get a third more ball. I know I have some extra money. You can always just... You can always just restart and collect from the bank. I'm sure your result will be, like, exactly the same. So I'm going to do that. Then I'm going to get... I, I might actually 
What do we want to get? I could get my alchemist, actually. I could just start working on that. Like, we're going to get him, like, here eventually. And we probably need this defense. So, we'll just get, like, our lead to go. We'll have it on strong right now. This will do some damage, I think, to the ceramics. So, now we got three more molars. Just a lot more damage overall. Hopefully, there we go. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes, yes. That's what I want to see. Three more molars to get the job done. He can collect from this. We are going to use that money to spam more of these farms. Hopefully, we don't die, like camos in the upcoming rounds i think we should be all right just a bunch of farms around here as fast as we can if i was smart i would actually have had the pause rounds turned off and be uh, getting these farms in between rounds to maximize my profits but i'm not smart so we're not going for that i also need to get another freaking monkey farmer where can i fit that i guess we'll try here and then also here and then also like this top corner oh my god there's got to be some place I think we're going to have to collect some bananas manually. Oh, this is a little bit scary, not going to lie. We're going to get, like, a cannon ship real quick. That cannon ship shall out a lot against the Camel Regen Rainbow Balloons. Still can't regen farm these, unfortunately, but that's all right. So now, we're actually, I think, we're just going to start working on our defense in the back. So I might as well just get a village. Can I get it, like, here or something? Oh, boy. It's kind of ugly. I mean, this is fine. This is still an okay village spot. I can just still fit in four bomb towers. And we'll just get a radar scanner. That's the regular Moab. I think we'll be all right there. Radar scanner. Then the freaking MIB. MIB still costs a lot of money. Again, round 48. When it hits like round 47, I'm going to turn off all the rounds just so we can get all this set up. We can even sell our defense in the middle. Actually, we have to sell our defense in the middle, middle for this farm to work. Like, if we, if we have all this defense in the middle, the farm simply will not work. So... Yeah. Still takes a while to save up for. I mean, there's probably... There are cheaper ways to defend regrow farms. It's just on this map is a little bit awkward. I'm actually going to disable the auto start now, just so I don't forget. And then we can get up a cluster of clusters underneath the village. That'll even help out against these random-ass ceramics. So we'll get this guy, like, here. Close. Got clusters already. Awesome. More mobs and stuff coming in. Still not really worried. My bomb can hit camels in the back down too, so those camel region and pinks are going to be handled pretty okay. Alright, so now what we're going to do, we're going to collect from our bank, we're going to sell it, we're going to sell off all of our farms, we're just going to sell everything. Give me all that money, and hopefully we'll have enough money to afford an actual defense. We can get rid of our farmers too, because those are just going to take up space. And then we're going to sell our actual defense, because again, if we have these balloons pop in the, the region balloons before we get a chance for the region farm to happen, it's just going to ruin our region farm. And we don't want that. We're going to keep this guy. All right, so now we're going to start with a couple druids right about here. Uh, we'll get it like here, I guess. Have it on last. Druid of Storm, I guess we'll get Druidic Reach so we can maybe shoot down that line a bit more. Also going to get like this here. There we go. Also on last. I think I'm going to get a third druid here, by the way. Also on last. This shouldn't interfere with the region form too much. We can give, give it dru druidic reach. Then we're going to get a... Oh, we're going to upgrade this guy to a cursive cluster missile launcher. Also going to get this guy to exactly the same. Now, a third one could be smart. We could also get another alchemist monkey. So I think getting another alchemist monkey is probably smarter because we want to be preventative. So I'm going to get the lead to gold, larger potions. Hell, let's even get three of them, question mark. Or we're, we'll just uh, wait. We'll just let the round play out. Then we'll get defense as it goes on. And we'll decide on what we want then. So yeah, here comes the region. Let's start to blow them back a little bit. Get the regrow farm going. There's also a lot of other regrow balloons this round. Thankfully, the purple balloons don't actually interfere with my tornadoes. They just kind of show up. We need these guys blowing back all these regen leads, though. We don't see too much regen leads getting blown back, so that's kind of a disappointment. I wonder... I'm hoping the purple blues don't disable it. All right, we got a decent amount of regen leads going. All right, we're doing all right now. Some balloons actually make it towards the end. Clearly, my cluster of clusters was not enough to defend all that. So I guess I'll get a third one in here right now. A third little cluster of clusters right here on close. There's ceramics coming in. So I'm actually going to get a sniper to combat that really quick. We're gonna, where the fuck is my sniper? Holy shit. I'm gonna get that on strong. Have it on 
fast? Do we need it on faster firing? Basically, just need to hit all the ceramics. That's all I care about right now, the ceramics. Then we're going to sell it for another alchemist. Get it to let's gold. I think we sniped them all. So I'm going to get this up. Let's gold. More potions. You get yet another alchemist because there's so many region blends. Lead balloons making it far. Got to keep this cash flow going. Got to get going. We're already starting to make some money from it. And our bombs are barely holding off at the end. I think it, because of the fact that so many balloons are making it to the bombs means that we maybe need more alchemists. Uh, we might be able to get away with what we have now. I think I'll try another Tornado Druid. Hopefully that doesn't screw me. I gotta save up money though because I actually can't afford the Tornado Druid currently. And that's fine too. So we already got it going. Again, like we're just barely out of money. I think there's actually still ceramic balloon there. That would suck. Okay, let's get our... Actually another alchemist here before anything else. Just in case maybe some region let's make it this far. You want to snipe them. You really do. And you want to keep that farm going. So uh, next thing's next is probably the next tornado druid because it looks like we're maybe not getting as money as fast now we could get faster money so the hard thing is is just setting up the regen farm to get it going infinite it looks like we're getting money so far but it's still not that much we're only getting like a hundred bucks every second or so and actually it looks like the regen farm might almost stop hopefully it doesn't and hopefully this uh can keep this going maybe a, another tornado druid up here maybe sell one of these alchemists get like a tornado druid up here have some last get on druidic reach hope that uh three of these maybe up here will do better because it looks like our uh, region farm is actually getting starved out definitely not something i want and it looks like it's coming back to life now oh yeah it's getting really really uh heavy right now so we'll get another one of these on uh, let's gold on strong of course yeah look at all those region blooms so basically, they're blowing back anything that isn't a lead balloon, which is kind of worth keeping in mind. Hopefully we'll be fine against the balloons that make it far here. It looks like we will be. Awesome. Gonna get yet another alchemist, I think. Do we need it? Maybe another bomb tower? I don't know what we need. Another alchemist could be nice. There's another one, like, maybe right about here, I guess. Let's have it on strong. Get this. The lead to gold. Just better pop and power. Then we'll get a druid. Or we could just get another Tornado Druid by the three at the top. We don't even need to get one here. Here would be really good, though. This would super accelerate the regen farm, though. So I'm, I'm going to do it anyways. Yeah, let's get it going, because it's going to pull back all these non-lead balloons. It honestly looks like the Druid's Tornado simply does not work on leads. So, yeah, it looks like we got a good thing going right now. Just got to keep paying attention to it, make sure they're, we're not dying, make sure we're still having enough regrow balloons. you got to balance it for a bit. But eventually, it will become self-sufficient. Like, once you have enough alchemists, it will very much become self-sufficient. So I'm not one bit worried at all. We're still going to go for more alchemists, though, because our cast per second is kind of... Uh, I mean, it's, it's not bad, but it's not great either. We can do better. I'm striving for better. Get this Let's Gold going right now. Get another Tornado Druid right up here. Last, Druid of Storm, Druidic Reach. Awesome, we got it. Let's go. Keep this regening and all that. I think we should be fine. Maybe another... Oh, a lot of balloons making it far. So if that's going to be the case, I'm just going to get another Alchemist. Lead to gold, of course. And we will get another Tornado Druid, I think. Right about here. Have it on last. Tornado. Druidic Reach, because why not? Last, I, I, it doesn't necessarily have to be last. I think just last guarantees that we'll hit like the max amount of balloons to regen. So, with that being said, I think at this point, you could just leave it going on forever and ever and ever, and you'd be probably fine. Maybe a couple more alchemists, just in case you're, like, really worried. Maybe this isn't the best spot. Maybe I want them, like, closer to here, so you can actually hit those uh, leads earlier. What if I even put them, like, at the start? Uh, that might screw it. I don't know if I want to screw it. kind of want to get this here, though, because leads are kind of making a pass like my tornado druids. Have, have another guy, like, here start making even more cash money. Oh my god, look at this cash flow. This is just so nice. We got up to 10k already. We're soon gonna have more money than what we started with. And I think we'll be alright. If I don't think I'll be alright, I'll just maybe get another bomb tower on the back. Four should really be fine. And maybe a spike factory the exit if you're again super scared. Another cluster of clusters, missile launcher. Hopefully the missile launchers don't accidentally kill the re regen farm. The cluster clusters do extend pretty far, had to admit. It looks like a regen farm's almost dying down, so I'm gonna get another one of the- Ah! No, it's just gonna go through phases of dying and, and living. But I'll just get this anyways. What's the worst that could happen? Oh, alright. Yeah. Awesome. So, I guess I'll see you guys in an hour, because I've just left this farm out, basically. Super cool. Uh, one thing I want to mention, 
I guess we were gonna check to see if this actually gives XP. So we're gonna go to my bomb tower real quick. It uh, has 22,000 XP. It's doing a lot of popping power. My druid has a lot of 30,000 XP. My alchemist is at 62,000 XP. Even though it's full, it still does gain XP. We're gonna compare the values now to the values whenever I decide to kill the region farm at the end of it, just to see whether or not we gain XP from it. All right, guys, we just now broke 1 million cash. This took about 20, 25 minutes of just kind of sitting and letting it do its thing. I was just kind of browsing YouTube in the meantime. So as you can see, we clearly can get a lot of money from this region farm, and it won't just kill itself off. I, no ones have even gotten to my spike factor. This guy's popped to zero. Useless. Piece of garbage. Okay, so we're going we're gonna to try to kill this off in the most fun way. Let's see if this works. I've actually never gotten the super storm before. I want to see if that works. We get like the Druidic region, a heart of vengeance, and I, I wonder if that's gonna kill it or make the region form more deadly. It might do neither, because it looks like the druids in the front are kind of screwing up, anyways. All right, what's another fun way to kill it? Let's do a glue gunner. Let's kill it with the glue gunner. All right, so we get our glue boy right here. Get him on balloon solver and glue splatter. Just like that, it's gone. So many balloons, this guy cleans up. So now let's take a look at some of the XP, since I said I was gonna do that. So our bomb tower has basically the same XP as I had before, even though these guys pop thousands of balloons. The druid has a little bit more XP than before, you know, maybe like an extra thousand, but I think that's from the round itself. And of course the alchemist still uh, yeah, has about the same XP. Did the, did the glue gunner get any? I mean, I guess I didn't get a chance to check. I don't know if I gained any XP, okay. So as you can see, region farming doesn't really give you any more um, funds. It doesn't give you more XP, it doesn't give you much more of anything. I mean, it gives you more money. So you can use this as a little novelty thing to try to save up money for late game. It seems like a good way to just grind out money for late game if you don't want to try and farm. Although you need good farms in the first place to do it and some monkey knowledge because you do have to do it in a hard mode and this is the easiest map. Uh, so, I mean, you still need a lot of money in the first place. It's not going to be particularly easy to pull off, but it'll be doable. And it's kind of fun to see work. Like, I really like that it is a thing. And, you know, that, that it kind of works anyways. That, that you can try to make it work. So, it's uh, super exciting. Glad we were able to get region farm kind farming kind of working. Hopefully, Ninja Kiwi doesn't patch it. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if they do. I don't know how they would patch it. Because, um, yeah, this is going to be kind of a weird thing to patch. A very niche thing. I feel like it kind of screwed up the alchemist in general, and it's really not that game game breaking. Super fun to see though, so I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys all in tomorrow's BT6 video. Peace out.